Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Today we have part two of the Jack Hunter TV miniseries uh, that I'm watching. There's three parts, this is part two. This one is called, and forgive me of my pronunciations, remember, Jack Hunter and the Quest for Akhenaten. Akhenaten. Akhenaten, whatever, tomb came out the last part of 2008. Now as you know, I have my handy dandy trusty notebook. I can't remember all this stuff. I'm not a professional movie critic. I just give my basic thoughts and opinions. I try to get some things across about what I've watched and in hopes to uh, enlighten you a little bit and help you on your journey whether or not to watch it. So I'm going to give you the basic storyline here. <clears throat> I'm going to stumble across some words. Pretend like you don't hear them. Here we go. In the second installment of the Jack Hunter saga, Jack learns that an old flame and fellow archaeologist, Lena Helmstorm, Helmstrom, has discovered an obelisk in Egypt that may lead to the tomb of a Akhenaten. That word. The pharaoh who raided Ugrit or Ugarit, and stole its treasure along with the second piece of the Star of Heaven. After Jack deciphers secret symbols on the obelisk, he soon finds himself hunted by a group sworn to keep the location of the pharaoh's last resting place a secret. There's always words I'm not going to be able to pronounce. I just can't do it. So, anyway, I hope hope you understood the story. Uh, the cast includes Ivan or Ivan Sergi as Jack Hunter, Joan Kelly as Nadia Ramadan, Ramadan, Thru Raffenstein, whatever, as Albert Lippmann, Elaine. Elena Huffman as Lena Halstrom. Mario Basil as everyone's favorite Jar Jar Binks in live form. Tarek. No, seriously. If uh, Jar Jar Binks uh, was real, it would be this guy. Strange fella. Strange indeed. Well, I'm not. I, I try never to give uh, any spoilers away or anything. So my reviews and thoughts and opinions have to be pretty condensed and, you know, kind of on point. So, but I am going to open up with this. In the beginning, uh, they find the obelisk. Uh, and. Suddenly, uh, later later that night, their camp is attacked by these demonish, otherworldly type things. And there's lots of gunfire, there's screaming and fires and death going on. And uh, you don't get much of a reaction out of a couple of main people in there. It's like they're just kind of standing there going... Oh, and look over here what's going on. And look over here what's going on. Oh, no. Okay. That aside. Okay. It's not bad. Alright, so keep in mind, they're looking for these artifacts uh, that basically can rule the world of sorts. So you remember that. Also remember, the Russians are back. That's right, folks. Like I said in my first part review, there's always Russians in these things. And by golly, they're back. Mean little boogers. Not kidding. So, in this movie, we have the classic scenario of the new girl, Lena, or Lena, being an old friend of Jack's. So now we have the Battle of the X 
and the new love interest, Nadia, as we've seen many times before in movies. You know how it plays out. They're always bumping into each other. There's always that look or that little snide remark or that jealous remark or that whatever the case may be remark. You know kind of how it goes from there. Uh, another thing uh, that's kind of a nitpick on this movie that I noticed was they travel through the desert and they travel a lot and you never see them really drinking or eating or anything and they're you know out there for a day or a week whatever the case may be you don't see a whole lot of sleeping you don't see a whole lot of eating and drinking uh, you don't see much of anything so that's kind of weird and another little uh, not a, a remark on it on the whole thing is uh, you know how in movies uh, you always have this one guy especially in these kind of movies you have that one guy that knows everything that or that has to be able to figure out these clues along the way to get to the next point and to get to the next point and so on and so forth well then you have these guys that show up out of nowhere that were nowhere to be seen they weren't really following them they just so happened to find where they are uh, by chance by whatever um, that's always bothered me it's like this guy worked to find where all these places are and somehow you're just following them you're able to find them out of nowhere that always bothers me but keep in mind you know, uh, when you're looking for these things, when you're trying to do little reviews and this, that, and the other, you're looking for kind of these little things so you can make sure you write them down and tell people. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, do you really care? Do you really notice? Is it that big a deal? No, it's not. And uh, some reviews that I've read are judging this series uh, really harsh. You know, uh, you have a bunch of actors honestly that I don't know if I've ever heard of I know some of them, I know at least one or two of them's in something that's been somewhat popular I don't even know but uh, I've seen it earlier um, but you know you got a, a lower budget uh, movie or TV show or whatever going on you know this isn't the multi-million dollar production like Indiana Jones or National Treasure you know uh, everything's not gonna be perfectly perfect so you have to go in there and remember that and really it's not that bad it's really not so I'm gonna read you basically my thoughts and opinions the rest here and we'll be done so far the any uh, the story isn't anything amazing or totally original some of the acting is okay, and some of it's fine. It's an alt, it's a adventure movie series trying to give us a little story, adventure, take us on a journey. It's not perfect, but no movie is. Sometimes you have to put on the blinders and let go of reality. Things don't always have to add up, in my opinion. Things don't always have to add up. At the end of the day, the characters are decent, the writing, the directing are decent, the sets are decent, the cinematography is decent, the locations are decent. <coughs> There's a lot of decentness in there to give this series uh, a look. And, you know, and I'm, I'm fixing to start uh, the third part. So, I've been on this journey now for two episodes, you know. So it's pretty good. It, you know, I've seen way worse. Uh, there was one thing that stood out. Of course, they're in these caves and these tombs and all these things. And from what I could tell, they opened up this one tomb and there was torches lit. Now, I don't know how that happens. You can't have fire without oxygen. And not only that, how long have them torches been lit? Like... Three, four thousand years? I don't know. But that was just something that stuck out. Like, you know, some things you got, you kind of have to dig in and kind of pay attention and really 
and 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 really uh, see or hear or whatever. But that just kind of stuck out. I was like, "How's the torches going?" So, anyway, yeah, guys. So this is part two of the Jack Hunter TV miniseries. So far, in my opinion, it's well worth a watch. Uh, you're gonna overlook all the little mistakes and all the little things here and there. The acting is not Harrison Ford, Tom Hanks. You know, uh, you're gonna get what you pay for, and they aren't bad. And really, it looks like a, a high quality, well shot movie. It's not like some subpar, you know, second class uh, series so far. It's well done. There's money put into this, and it's actually pretty decent. So, guys, I'm going to wrap that up. I'm probably going to watch the third and the final chapter either tonight or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Um, and then I'll try and get my video out Saturday night. And we'll wrap this whole Jack Hunter saga up. Alright? Go check out my other uh, review from the Jack Hunter series. Uh, check out all my other movie and TV reviews. Check out all my other videos from cycling to drawing, uh, photography, discussions, uh, all that good stuff. Video games. Go check out all my videos. I do it all for free. I do it because I love it. I do it because I love you. I hope to inspire people. And don't forget, guys. Get up. Get out. Get ready. Do it to it. Even when reviewing a TV miniseries that gets a little bit of hate. Use your own mind and your own judgment. We'll see y'all later.